Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Agnes. I make videos on cleaning, organizing, all that good stuff. If you like videos like this, and I'm sure you do because you're here watching them, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you get notified each time I make videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is great feedback for me. It lets me know that you enjoy these kind of videos and to keep making them. So today's video is going to be a Marvel Avengers inspired wardrobe clean out. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I was thinking, what if like Thanos in Marvel Avengers Endgame Infinity War, you could snap your fingers and half your wardrobe is cleared out. It would be awesome. So this is what I'm using as my inspiration today. Let's get started cleaning out the wardrobe. So before you start with your closet clean out, you're going to of course want to make sure that you have all your clothes to sort through. So make sure your laundry is caught up and you have everything washed and cleaned, ready to declutter. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. I only have a pretty small wardrobe. It is a closet in my main bedroom. It's not walk-in, obviously. It's just got these sliding glass doors. It's only, oh, I don't know, like um, that big, which is not ideal. It's pretty small, and the bad thing is that you can't kind of see the whole lot of your closet when you open the doors. You only see like about two-thirds of the hanging space, and then one-third is behind the door, so you kind of have to slide the doors back and forth. There are built-in shelves, but they aren't super practical, so I just grabbed this IKEA basket to store all of the things like bras, underwear, socks, gym clothes, pajamas, t-shirts, and down the bottom are bikinis. I haven't really bought any new clothes for quite a while, so I figure if I get rid of some of the old stuff, then I'll be able to go and get some new clothes and not feel so bad about not having anywhere to put them. All right, let's get started. Oh, the other thing is, I don't want to spend all day doing this. I want it to be really quick, so I'm not going to do the KonMari method where you have to pull everything out and put it on your bed because I don't want to be overwhelmed. That is not me, that is not my thing. I really love KonMari, but I don't like the fact that she always says you have to pull out absolutely everything and put it on the bed. For me, that is just too overwhelming, it'll take too long, and I don't want any part of that. So I'm just going to go through piece by piece, take it out, look at it, assess it, and then decide whether I am going to keep it or donate it. Keep donate or discard if there's anything that has holes in it or that can't be saved. H&M Recycle Textiles. If you have any clothing that you can't sell or that's not in good enough quality to donate, please take it to H&M. They'll recycle all your textiles. It doesn't have to come from H&M and the great thing is that they will give you a discount on your next purchase. So that's a little tip. Make sure you're kind to the environment when you're decluttering and organizing. I seriously do not want to spend all day doing this. I'm going to set a timer. I want to see if I can get this finished as quickly as possible. The reason that I always put off Doing a wardrobe declutter is because in my mind it is such a huge process. It's something that takes forever and I don't want to spend ages. I'm hoping to get it done in like less than an hour if possible. So setting a timer or having a timer where you can see exactly what the time is, how long it's taking you is a great way to keep motivated and stay on task. The other thing I'm going to do while I'm decluttering my wardrobe is put on an audiobook. I know that Oprah has a new book out at the moment. I really want to listen to that so I'm going to put that on to keep it interesting while I declutter. All right, now let's really get started. Like I said, I didn't want to make a huge overwhelming mess by pulling everything out, so I'm just putting on the bed anything that wasn't folded or hung up or put away properly. And then I'm just going through my hanging clothes piece by piece and just assessing very quickly, moving through very quickly, if I want to donate it, if I want to keep it, or if I'm going to recycle it. So, so far I have managed to just go through quickly all of my hanging clothes and quickly pick out the things that I know I just do not want. I don't like them, I don't use them, they're pretty bad quality. I've noticed that everything that I've discarded is all just cheap, cheap clothing quality and it really shows. So it's just from those cheap like Alley, Tempt, all those pretty cheap clothing places and obviously it shows. 
So this is what I am going to be donating. And then I've just been adding to the bag. There's only been, I think, one or two things that I've had to put in here that have got holes in them. They can't be repaired. I'm going to be recycling these at h and I just need to find a better way to store all the clothes that I ironed yesterday because at the moment, well, it was just sitting on top of the suitcase down there. So this suitcase I bought when I was in New York City, we bought it on our last night in Marshalls. We went out for this really fancy dinner at Beauty and Essex down the south of New York. I can't remember where, it's where Katz's Deli is, wherever that is. And we went to Marshalls. We were like dolled up to the nines and we went into Marshalls to get a suitcase because we had all bought so many things from New York on our trip that it wouldn't fit in our suitcases that we brought with us. So guys, that whole process only took around 10 minutes, including the time I had to stop and move around my camera and everything. Good. I'm happy with how all this is. I really like it. Now I'm just gonna go through and organize it. So the way I like to organize my wardrobe or my closet, by hanger type, by length, and then by color within those sections. So there's the only space that I've got to really hold really full length stuff is quite far to the end. So I put everything that is like maxi dresses jumpsuits anything that's really long till the end and then i'll color code it within the categories so that i know that if i'm looking for a black thing i'll just go to the black section or a patterned or floral thing or a colored thing it's all in those sections which works for me it might not work for everyone you might have heaps of space so you can organize it much better that's what works for me in this space i don't like having different kinds of hangers mixed in together so i always have anything that's on these kind of skirt hangers all together everything else is on these thin velvet flocked hangers so I know when a lot of people give advice on how to decide what you want to declutter and what you want to discard they say things like oh touch it ask if it sparks joy or does it fit the thing I like to think is if I saw Tony Stark walking down the street and I was wearing this, would I want to run and hide or would I be like, I am feeling fine, I am looking fabulous, come at me Iron Man. And that is literally the only question you need to ask yourself when you're doing a wardrobe declutter. Would I want to drop dead from embarrassment if I saw an Avenger, a cute AF Avenger walking towards me wearing this outfit or would I be like, that's cool, I know I look good. That's the question you need to ask yourself and you will make a snap decision like that. Not be umming and eyeing forever on should you keep it or should you get rid of it. I sorted through all my clothes and decided on what I want to donate. It only took literally 10 minutes. It is so quick if you just go through each thing while it's hanging up in your closet and not take everything out and put it on your bed. It's really important to get all your things that you're going to be discarding or donating packed up and put away and put in your car and actually take them and drop them off on the day that you do your declutter. Don't leave them lying around, don't put them by the door meaning to get to it. You'll probably rifle through and take things out. So you just wanna get it to the donation, take it to your Goodwill or your charity store and get rid of it on the day you do your declutter. So now what I really wanted to do was spend some time organizing the clothes. Now that I've got the clothes that I know that I wanna keep, that I actually do enjoy wearing and that I do actually use, just going through and organizing them. So setting them up in a color-coded fashion, making sure they're all folded nice and neatly, and just trying to organize everything so that you can easily see what you have and everything's easily available. So you can see by the clock in the background that it's 9.52 and then it's 10.10. So this doesn't need to take all day, you guys. Remember, I started at 9.28. I found that some of the clothes were folded when I preferred to have them hanging and vice versa, they were hanging when I preferred to have them folded. I think a key point is to find what works for you. If you prefer to have things folded, then obviously use hanging space. If you prefer to just fold them up and put them in a drawer or have baskets where you can just quickly throw them into, you're not fussed about having things folded up neatly, just do whatever works for so you. So I spent the last part of my hour just going through and arranging all of my clothes. I've never used these drawers as holding my jeans before, so I'm not sure how it will go. All my coats are stored on a clothing rack. I just gave them a quick lint roll because I noticed the room was really dusty when I was cleaning up. Folding up the last of my accessories, I decided to pack these away folded. And as you can see, 10.25, less than one hour and I am done. So many empty clothes hangers. I've got a bag of donations ready to go and my bag for H&M for recycling. I'm really happy how this turned out. I know I say this in every one of my videos, but I really wish I had done this ages ago. It makes so much difference when your clothes are all neat, tidy and organized. You can see what you have. You don't feel overwhelmed and you feel more inspired when you're getting ready in the morning. Highly encourage you to go through and do, just do a power hour, do a quick 60 minute cleanup. It's 
so amazing how much you can get done if you just focus, you spend your attention, you set a timer and you just go for it. Smash it out, you will be done before you know it and the results are so worthwhile. Right, so what's a video of mine without a little cleaning? I thought since I got this smashed out of the way so quickly, I'm gonna give my room a big clean up. There was so much dust that came out of my wardrobe. I need to really get on top of that. When I lint rolled my bed head, oh my God, it was disgusting how much dust was there. So just giving all the surfaces a quick wipe down, giving the mirrors a clean, it doesn't take too long. This literally only took me 10 or 15 minutes. And I thought since I've put all the effort into cleaning out my wardrobe, I might as well have a nice clean room all in the same day. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it motivated and inspired you to tackle something that you might have been putting off like a closet clean out. Once you get started, you'll be done before you know it. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps support my channel and if you like these kind of videos don't forget to subscribe before you leave hit the notification bell so you'll always be reminded when I make a new video and with all that said I will see you in the next video bye everyone